in the hazy technicolor tapestry of television's past. There exists a gem that gently tugs at the threads of nostalgia, the 1966 TV series, Family Affair. As you step into the sepia-toned corridors of memory lane, a cascade of recollections might drift forth, like autumn leaves carried by a whispering breeze. Picture yourself, a voyager through time, stumbling upon the quaint yet opulent world of the Davis family. With each episode, a sense of kinship unfurls, as if you're peering through an ornate keyhole into their lives. The refined charm of Mr. French, steadfastly navigating a sea of youthful exuberance, stands as a beacon of stability against the backdrop of change. In this enchanting chronicle, the Davis household becomes a theater of heartwarming and sometimes hilarious vignettes. Remember that episode when Buffy's innocent curiosity led to unforeseen pandemonium, or when Jody's adventurous spirit entwined with Mr. French's disciplined composure, creating an exquisite dance of personalities. But wait, the stage isn't only graced by the Davis siblings and their gentlemanly guardian. Enter Uncle Bill, a figure of modernity in contrast, whose presence conjures thought-provoking questions about tradition versus progress, duty versus desire. So, as you traverse the alleys of memory, let these fragments of family affair resurface, offering a canvas for your own experiences and ponderings. For this series, a timeless testament to human dynamics continues to whisper its anecdotes of laughter, camaraderie, and growth, inspiring us to reflect on our own intricate relationships and journeys. And now, dear reader, it's time to unveil a few random facts that illuminate the show's creation, casting, and cultural impact. These tidbits, like hidden treasures unearthed from the annals of television history, shed light on the magic behind the scenes, the chemistry that fueled its success, and the echoes it left in the hearts of viewers. Family Affair TV series, a feud unveiled in the realm of classic television. The 1966 series Family Affair holds a unique place, not only for its heartwarming tales, but for the backstage drama that unfolded over the years. One might recall the endearing characters and their escapades, but beneath the surface lay a compelling narrative of its own. Amid the charm of the show, a silent transformation took place. In the early episodes, Johnny Whittaker, the lovable Jody, spoke with a distinctive lisp, a character trait that quietly dissipated as the series progressed. This nuanced change added depth to the character, showing how even the smallest details contributed to the show's evolving dynamics. Yet, beyond the screen, a different drama brewed. Following its cancellation, a daring plan emerged to bring Family Affair back, this time on ABC. However, fate had other plans. The idea was swiftly quashed, for the network already boasted another family-themed show, The Brady Bunch. The clash of similar themes underscored the intricate web of television politics that shaped the destiny of beloved series. As the years rolled on, the cast experienced a real-life family feud of sorts. Kathy Garver and Johnny Whittaker, the sole survivors from the series, found themselves entangled in a complex rift that endured for more than two decades. Garver believed she had paved the way for her co-star, orchestrating auditions and interviews, yet felt a lack of gratitude from Whittaker in return. This lingering bitterness cast a shadow over their once close bond. The feud, however, was not destined to last forever. A dramatic reconciliation played out on the stage of opera's iconic show, where Garver and Whittaker finally buried the hatchet. This staged reunion, viewable on YouTube, served as a poignant reminder that the lives of our favorite on-screen families often intersect with untold narratives, revealing the human complexity that resides beyond the laughter and tears. Family Affair remains a time capsule of an era, a mirror reflecting both the innocence and intrigue of a bygone time. As we revisit the show, let us not forget the untold stories that shaped its legacy, reminding us that even the most picture-perfect families can harbor secrets beneath the surface. Family Affair spin-offs, unveiling connections to popular 70-second sitcoms and a surprising twist of creative lineage. Several plot lines that would later become hallmarks of the beloved 70-second show The Brady Bunch were, in fact, borrowed from the lesser-known 1966 series Family Affair. The parallels between the two shows, chronicling the lives of stepfamilies, offer an intriguing insight into the evolution of television narratives. A striking resemblance emerges when comparing episodes from both series. The iconic Grand Canyon episode in The Brady Bunch, where Bobby and Cindy find themselves lost, echoes the predicament of Buffy and Jody in Family Affair, stranded in Spain. 
This theme of wandering and eventual reunion evidently struck a chord with writers across generations. Moreover, the episode My Fair Opponent and the Brady Bunch, in which Marsha provides a makeover to a classmate, mirrors Buffy's fair lady from Family Affair, where Buffy undertakes a similar transformation. Such narrative symmetry showcases the resonance of certain story arcs in the television landscape. Notably, the tumultuous contemplation of quitting their positions by both Alice in the Brady Bunch and Mr. French in Family Affair offers a striking parallel. The episodes titled Hello, Alice Goodbye and Alice Doesn't Live Here Anymore in the Brady Bunch are reminiscent of several Family Affair installments where Mr. French contemplates departing from his butler role with the Davis family. Even episodes featuring the youngest members of both families mirror each other. Bobby's Glee Club rejection in The Drummer Boy finds its mirror image in Buffy's potential expulsion from the girls' glee club in The Unsound of Music. A tape recording mishap in the private ear among the Brady siblings mirrors the Jody affair and family affair, where Buffy and Jody embark on a similar audio escapade. Curiously, character transformations are also shared. Greg Brady's Our Son, The Man, wherein he adopts a 70 seconds hipster persona, finds its parallel in Flower Power from Family Affair, where Sissy Davis explores a hippie look. The loss of beloved possessions further solidifies the connection. The episode Kitty Carey All is Missing in the Brady Bunch mirrors a similar theme in Family Affair, where Buffy experiences the loss of her cherished doll, Mrs. Beasley. Alas, fate dealt a different hand to Family Affair. After six seasons, as CBS initiated its famed rural purge in 1971, the show faced the chopping block. Don Federson, the show's creator, sought salvation by shopping it around networks. ABC, however, surprisingly dropped the opportunity, deeming the show too reminiscent of The Brady Bunch, then a popular sitcom featuring a stepfamily. In retrospect, the thematic overlap between Family Affair and the Brady Bunch offers a unique lens through which to view the development of television storytelling. The echoes of family dynamics and the interplay of characters transcend time, providing an intriguing testament to the enduring allure of stepfamily narratives on screen. Bill Davis in his unique Manhattan abode at 600 E. 62nd Street may have faded from television screens, but the legacy of family affair lives on, leaving an indelible mark on the evolution Mrs. Beasley, of Beasley, the iconic doll of family affair in the autumn of 1966, a new television series graced the screens of American households, capturing the essence of family dynamics with a touch of elegance. Family Affair, a show that centered around the lives of bachelor Bill Davis, and his three young charges managed to not only warm hearts but also birth a cultural phenomenon. At the heart of the show was Buffy, portrayed by the talented Anissa Jones. An endearing quirk of the series was Buffy's constant companion, her Mrs. Beasley doll. This doll, a constant presence during the young girl's escapades, became more than just a prop. It became a beloved character in its own right. Such was its popularity that it triggered the creation of a line of replica Mrs. Beasley dolls. The success of this doll was nothing short of remarkable. Fans clamored to possess their very own piece of the show, and the replica Mrs. Beasley dolls flew off the shelves. Even after the show's eventual cancellation, the demand for these dolls persisted, turning them into cherished collector's items. It's a testament to the show's impact that Buffy's connection with Mrs. Beasley transcended the screen and found a lasting place in popular culture. Interestingly, Family Affair faced its own behind-the-scenes scheduling quirk. The esteemed Brian Keith, who portrayed Bill Davis, adopted a filming schedule reminiscent of another iconic show, My Three Sons. Keith, much like Fred McMurray, opted for condensed filming blocks. His scenes were shot within 30-day intervals, allowing the remaining cast members to navigate their roles around his timeline. This strategic move, meant to accommodate potential film commitments for Keith, demonstrated the show's commitment to preserving its key talent. In the satirical world of Mad Magazine, Family Affair found itself spoofed as Familiar Affair. This tongue-in-cheek homage is a testament to the series' cultural resonance, reaching even the realms of parody. It's a reminder that the show not only made its mark on television history, but also etched its way into the broader fabric of entertainment. As time continues its march forward, Family Affair remains an indelible piece of television history, a series that deftly blended heartwarming narratives with a touch of whimsy. And at the center of it all, the Mrs. Beasley doll stands tall, 
an unexpected symbol of connection and nostalgia. Unexpected age discrepancies and evolution of a doll, family affairs, intriguing details in the heartwarming world of the 1966 television series Family Affair. A tale of familial connection unfolded, capturing the hearts of viewers across the nation. However, beneath the charm and laughter, a curtain of intriguing facts and subtle curiosities shrouded the show's characters and their relationships. Central to the narrative was the character Sissy, portrayed as a 15-year-old older sister to the twins, Jody and Buffy. Yet, an unexpected twist of reality emerged. Johnny Whittaker, who embodied Jody's innocence, was a mere six years old during the show's debut, while Anissa Jones, the embodiment of Buffy's charm, was eight. Kathy Garver, the actress behind the role of Sissy, defied her on-screen age with a real-life 20 years. Notably, both Whitaker and Garver shared a serendipitous birth date, December 13th, a coincidence that surely added an unspoken bond to their on-set camaraderie. Amid the heartwarming introduction of Buffy, who arrives at Uncle Bill's doorstep in the pilot episode, another enigma emerges in the form of her cherished doll, Mrs. Beasley. Initially, the doll sported an eyeglass-free visage. However, astute viewers might have observed a subtle evolution. As the show progressed beyond its inaugural episode, Mrs. Beasley donned eyeglasses, a transformation that went unexplained but subtly underscored the show's attention to detail and evolving character dynamics. Delving deeper into the familial backdrop, the trio's origins add another layer of intrigue. Presented as the children of Bill Davis' brother, Bob Davis, and his wife, Mary Patterson, they carried the Patterson surname upon their introduction. An unspoken narrative thread suggests a previous life with Mary's kin before finding their way into the care of Bill Davis. This unexplored chapter in their backstory hints at a more complex tapestry of connections and circumstances that lay beneath the surface. In the grand tapestry of television history, Family Affair remains a cherished gem, its surface warmth concealing intricate layers of narrative ingenuity. From age-defying actors to the evolution of inanimate companions, the series unveils a trove of captivating tidbits that enrich the viewing experience. As the laughter of Jody, the charm of Buffy, and the guidance of Uncle Bill continue to resonate, these lesser-known facets invite a renewed appreciation for a classic show that continues to capture hearts across generations. As we bid adieu to our journey through the charming world of the 1966 TV series, Family Affair, we find ourselves not merely spectators, but active participants in the lives of Uncle Bill, Mr. French, and the ever-adorable twins, Buffy and Jody. As the curtain falls on this endearing family tale, it's a moment to pause and reflect on the moments that have etched themselves into the tapestry of your own life. Did the trials and tribulations of the Davis family touch your heart in unexpected ways? Perhaps you found a piece of yourself in the earnest wisdom of Mr. French or in the innocent curiosity of Buffy and Jody. Or maybe the show's timeless lessons on love, understanding, and the joys of simple moments struck a chord that still resonates in your daily life. Now, dear friend, it's your turn to step into the spotlight. We invite you to share your cherished memories, favorite episodes, or musings about family affairs. Whether it's a heartfelt connection or a lighthearted recollection, your thoughts are the missing piece that completes this nostalgic puzzle. Your words become a testament to the enduring power of television to unite us across time and space. Thank you for joining us on this remarkable journey down memory lane. Your time and interest are deeply appreciated, and your personal reflections will undoubtedly add a unique sparkle to the legacy of family affairs. Until our paths cross again, keep the spirit of family, love, and adventure alive in your own narrative.